I would like you to uh, welcome my musicians. Please come out, musicians. Hi there. My name is Karen Donaldson Shepherd, and I'm really, really, really happy uh, for you all to be here tonight. Um, I see some familiar faces and faces that I haven't met yet, and I'm really excited about this, um, this show. Welcome to tonight's celebration we call Kisakihitan. Long ago in this region, there were people living here. They survived over thousands and thousands of years, thriving and adapting to their environment. Today, we, the Indigenous people of the Edmonton region, are still having to adapt and learn new ways in order to go forward into this ever-changing landscape. Among this diverse group of Indigenous Canadians are the people called Métis, who share aspects of this land's history. Their identity is the result of European influences on the Indigenous cultures, which inevitably has created a unique culture for the Métis, with strong traditions, and therefore, and unar uh, unarguably, a distinct identity. Tonight, we are recognizing 12 unique Indigenous and Métis people from the Edmonton region. We are deeply grateful and honored to share part of their stories, which have inspired the framed photographs you see displayed, and the music compositions that will be performed tonight. The photographic artwork has been created by Noella Steinhauer, and the music compositions are created by Karen Donaldson Shepherd. So at this point, I am so honored to introduce Noella and Karen to you, who will give you a brief background on tonight's program. Thank you. Uh, that 
we've been working on for uh, months, and uh, every single second for me has been a joy in um, working on it. And uh, a couple years ago, I needed some bio shots, and I wasn't sure um, who I should get to photograph me. I actually hate getting my photo taken. Sorry, photographers out there, but I just do. And um, anyway, I was on Facebook, and I came across these stunning, beautiful pictures. And I called her up, and I hired her, and we became friends. And then I said a little while later, hey, do you want to work on a project together? And she said yes, which is amazing. And so uh, we, we got... Um, we got together a number of times and talked about what kind of program we would like. Um, I said I would like to write 12 songs, and um, yeah, she wanted to do 12 portraits, so we kind of took it from there. No? Hi, uh, I don't usually like the limelight on me, <laughs> but I just want to say thank you for being here. And this is, um, I'm truly thankful for everyone who supported me throughout this project, especially my husband and my children and two dear friends, uh, my friend Cassie and my friend Jen. <laughs> but it's been a truly a humbling experience. I was not expecting it to be at this scale, <laughs> but I am truly grateful. Um, it's been quite the journey, as Karen said, we've been working months and months, so we actually started back in September, so it's been quite a while, but really the crunch time started really the, around Christmas, around January, so that's when we really started to buckle down and get it going, but I just have to say, like, I'm very thankful for the 12 people who joined us on this project, because honestly, it's beyond me and Karen. It's like the 12 stories out here. Like, it's just amazing. The 12 people that joined us, I'm truly grateful for you and for opening your hearts to us because, like, we spent, you know, 12, like, 12 people. We <laughs> interviewed 12 people, really. And not only really interviewing them, having them just open up their hearts to us and share with us, right? And then I got the pleasure of photographing them, obviously. So it was just a really amazing experience. I just felt the connection and the love and the support and I'm just happy they were here. And I can't really say much more because um, I just want you to be here and enjoy the show because yeah, really, this is amazing. So thank you, Karen. <laughs> I just have to say thank you to Noella. She is a wonderful person to get to know. Uh, she's become a good friend of mine, and uh, she's been very patient with me as I phoned her and texted her late at night, early in the morning. What about this? What about that? What about this? And uh, so thank you, Noella. You've been absolutely wonderful to work with. And I, I thank the 12, the 12 people who have just really um, just delved right into my heart. All of you are just beautiful and wonderful people, and I just, I thank you. I thank you so much for this. Um, this first song that we're going to be doing is called Dancing Whirl. Dancing Whirl is for Ashley Tiller, and Ashley Tiller is one of our dancers tonight. Um, she, say hello again. <laughs> Yay! And I'm actually going to introduce Deanna uh, Kaj Kajaki. Yes, another dancer. And then Travis E. Bellows. They're all going to be uh, performing tonight and, and um, they're just going to be amazing. So, thank you.
So, take us all on a different adventure in a boat or a plane round a certain stellar. Please tell us more, Storyteller. For Elise Skidmore, this is Storyteller.
like just taken away when I came home and Kelly said, you need to call Laura Vinson. She wants you to go to Europe. And I was like, what? So uh, that started a, um, just a wonderful, as far as I'm concerned, mentorship. She has been mentoring me and teaching me and showing me so many things. And um, her and her husband, Dave, and um, their brother-in-law, Paul, who is one of the drummers, or not one of the drummers, is the drummer. And uh, Dave is on the... Um, uh, Pedal steel. Pedal steel, thank you. Oh, I always want to call it steel guitar. Anyway, um, they've taken me on many adventures, and I'm so grateful for this opportunity to be able to sing a song for her.
This moment screams your name with every second that's ticking on. So go on and win your marathon. For Marcel Spence, this is Marathon. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four.
The darkness there will always be, but the light that shines, well, it covers me. For Derek Thunder, this is the light that shines.
let that linger <laughs> as we have a 15 minute break to enjoy some refreshments and uh, yeah, ponder your thoughts and we will let you know when we're ready to begin again. Thank you. So it looks like we're about to begin. Karen, is that the nod? Yeah. You got her. But before we begin the second half of tonight's program, we would like to recognize iHuman and the YMCA Youth Connect, which will be receiving um, a part of tonight's ticket sales. We are also very happy to contribute to both of these worthy and awesome, inspire, awe-inspiring organizations. We would also like to acknowledge the generous contribution from the Edmonton Arts Council for helping to make tonight's celebration possible. So at the start of this next piece, this is a quote from Norman Fournier. I looked up and saw the Northern Lights and understood my ancestors were here for thousands of years in the same spot, looking up at the same sky. For Norman Fournier, this is night sky.
Marina on the cellos. And thank you to Monica on the other harp. This next song is for Deanna Kachiki. Deanna, where are you? Deanna, yay! <laughs> um, I just want to say that uh, I think this is a, I think this was a wonderful opportunity to get to know Deanna a little, little bit, and I, I thank you for for her time uh, that she gave us for the interview. Thank you, Deanna.
so proud of you. Grown to a man, trying to be the best that you can. Don't you know she would be happy just to see your beautiful smile, her beautiful child? For Levi J. Bull, this is what if you knew.
This next tune is for a lady who came all the way from New Zealand. Isn't that amazing? She's sitting in the back, hiding, hoping nobody notices her. <laughs> Stand up, please. <laughs> she doesn't mind, but I'm going to get her to come up here. <laughs> come on up. Come on up. You need to explain some things that I can't do. I was, that was not in the deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't tell you. <laughs> so Matt Hurray. Matt Hurray is from New Zealand. Uh, Matt Hurray, can you just tell us a little bit about your homeland? Aotearoa, New Zealand. What can I tell you? Um, I will tell you that people often say to me, you came to Alberta from Aotearoa, New Zealand. Uh, and that's because it is a very beautiful country, of course, as you know, and so is Canada. Um, our people are called Māori, a lot of you know that. My tribe is Waitaha. We've been there a very long time. Like this country, it was colonized by the British. French had a go as well. Um, it's a land full of rivers and lakes and waterways and we don't have the wild animals that you have. Um, but we have really warm people and good food that I miss, but I like your bannock. I just want to tell you, you think the bannock belongs to you. It's actually Maori bread. I just want you to know <laughs> that it's Maori bread. <laughs> and um, you know, you're allowed to call it bannock, but uh, we know where it really comes from. <laughs> um, my family is still there. My, I'll tell you just a little bit about my tribe, maybe. Um, Waitaha, one of the things I perhaps would like you to know is that um, the boys been a tribe of peacemakers and that, that is something that we hold really close. Um, our name means carriers of the water, so water is also really, really important to us. We're a tiny little country down the bottom of the world. A lot of people think that we're the other side of Australia. Australia now wants us to join uh, them because they'd like our Prime Minister to be their Prime Minister as well. They uh, can't have it, but I sure understand why they want to. Um, what would you like me to tell you? I would, I would like you to say your homeland in your language. Aotearoa. My homeland is Aotearoa. Actually, my homeland is Te Waiponamu. Te Waiponamu is our name for the South Island. Te Waiponamu, Wai is water. Ponamu actually uh, is green, the color of the green stone. So the green stone that I wear is Ponamu. You call it jade. Um, I miss it every day, um, but I'm also glad to be here because I've learned such a lot since I came here. And you know, you don't know how much you have to learn until suddenly you realize that you actually don't know anything. And uh, that was certainly my experience when I came here 15 years ago. And so, yeah. I've learned from everybody here. I've learned from First Nations people here, Treaty 8 people here who were kind enough to welcome me and allow me to work alongside them. Um, special shout out to them. Uh, Treaty 6 people who have put up with me very kindly and graciously. Um, Métis friends, Métis people who have become so close to me. And all the things that I thought I knew, you know, turned out not to be such a big deal because I had so much to learn. Um, we have a long history too. My people, Waitaha, and I think probably all Māori tribes, of coming and toing and froing between our land and your land. So one of the things that I was told about 
to prepare me for coming was about the ancestors who had been here long ago and when I got here I was shown where they came to and so there are some certain things that I hold very close about our relationship. It's Māori to First Nations people in this land and particular points that join us across the ethers that are very sacred, very special and so um, it's happened to me a number of times when I've been here on the west coast as well. Um, an elder came up to me at lunchtime in a meeting and said, you have to go to this place because these people remember your people from over a thousand years ago. And so we have long histories of connection. So even though, um, yes, I've come a long way and I came knowing nothing and I've had so much to learn, there's also been this strong connection. And so in many ways, we have also got histories, I should tell you, that um, talk about um, my people having come across and down through the Americas and across to the bottom of Waiponamu. And some of those oral histories um, tell me that the people here are our elders, our elder brothers, and so I always acknowledge that as well. Um, and, and so, again, I'm grateful to be here. It's been a hard learning at times because sometimes, you know, some of us are slow learners and I'm one of them. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you, Karen. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Acknowledge and recognize our indigenous brothers and sisters across the ocean, and um, I couldn't I couldn't resist the chance. So this song is for her. It's called "As We Go Gentle." Macare is a phenomenal writer, and um, and she does a lot of work for uh, in the environment for for the environment for um, animals, and so I want to recognize that.
is um, is for Travis E. Belrose, and uh, he's going to be dancing for this tune. And um, this was a good learning experience for me. Um, I've always wanted to kind of be a rock star. <laughs> you, you are Karen. <laughs> For, for Christmas, and I was so happy because I could hear all these songs. And my parents, uh, once I told one of my friends, I want to be a rock star, just like the mini pops. And then uh, the next day, my record was in the garbage in a million pieces. So I, I think my, <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, well, my parents, you know, they just didn't want me going off being a rock star. So, um, so I played the violin. And now I play the violin for a rock tune that I wrote for Travis E. Belrose. Woohoo! <laughs>
audience. I thank you for coming. I thank you for in hopefully enjoying yourself. I thank you, uh, I thank everybody, actually. <laughs> Since it's the last song, I better take the opportunity to thank everyone. Um, the food has been made by my beautiful sister-in-law, Leah Shepard. Leah Shepard. <laughs> and she has been helped. She has a couple of helpers. And you know what? I am sorry. I'm terrible with names. But let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> I want to thank my sound person. Mike Brizzo, who is amazing. Thank you, Mike. Woo. I would like to thank all my beautiful musicians. Karina, Katrina, Julie, Iggy, Dave, Paul, Laura, Monica, and Donna May. I would like to take this moment to thank um, Cassie for all of her program work. Thank you so much. They look beautiful. I love them. Woo! And uh, I'd like to thank all the dancers, Travis and Ashley and Deanna. Thank you. And also, I would love to thank Noella. Where's Noella? Noella, Noella. Oh, there we are. Yay! Thank you, Noella. Thank you, thank you. You're awesome. I love your picture. Um, and there's something I'm missing. There's somebody I'm missing. What is it? What is it? Um, you, baby. I've got to thank you, too. What? We have to thank you, Karen, oh. for uh, putting the show together. <laughs> thank you. Yes, Karen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really, this has been a beautiful experience, and I, and I love you. I love all the 12 models. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. You truly are. Without you, this wouldn't even happen. Okay? Without you, like, you know, I couldn't get these, string these, these, these kids together, and I, I just, I couldn't do it without you. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. The last song is called Hey Pound Maker, and it's named a little bit after Pound Maker, and it's named a little bit after The Lodge. So, this is for Sky Gladjo. Okay, one more time.